Hernia in babies. Recognize the signs and symptoms. Hernias in babies are usually marked by a bulge around the navel or genitals. Signs and symptoms of a hernia in babies can be different, depending on the type of hernia. If caught early, hernias can be treated immediately before complications occur. Hernias occur when the muscles that support the body's organs weaken or become abnormal, so they are unable to hold the organs in their proper position. This condition is not only experienced by adults, but also by infants. Signs and Symptoms of Hernia in Infants by Type The most common types of hernias in infants are umbilical hernias and inguinal hernias. The following are some signs of hernias in babies based on their type. Umbilical Hernia in Babies Umbilical hernias are characterized by the appearance of a soft lump in the navel or around the navel. This condition can occur when the umbilical cord hole does not close completely after the baby is born. Umbilical hernias most often occur in babies with low birth weight, babies who are born prematurely, or babies who have hypothyroidism. The lumps that appear will usually enlarge when the baby coughs, laughs and cries, but will deflate again when he is still or lying down. Umbilical hernias in infants generally do not cause pain or other symptoms and will disappear by themselves after the child is 4 to 5 years old. However, if a hernia continues to appear when a child is over 5 years old or causes disturbing symptoms, such as a lump that enlarges and changes color or the baby looks fussy and in pain in the first 1 to 2 years of life, direct examination and treatment by a doctor is very important. Inguinal Hernia in Babies Inguinal hernias in babies can be caused by abnormalities or defects in the abdominal wall, so that part of the intestine enters the lower abdominal cavity and sticks out into the groin. This condition can occur in both male and female babies. However, cases of inguinal hernias are more common in male babies, especially those born prematurely. In addition, Babies who have family members with a previous history of inguinal hernias are also more prone to experiencing this condition. Inguinal hernias in infants can be detected by paying attention to the area around the genitals. If there is a lump in the baby's groin or testicles, especially when crying or actively moving and deflating when lying down, the baby may have an inguinal hernia. Meanwhile, inguinal hernias in baby girls can be in the form of oval-shaped lumps in the groin or labia, cubic lips. Apart from the appearance of a lump around the genitals, an inguinal hernia can also cause the baby to be more fussy and have a decreased appetite. Handling Hernia in Babies It has been mentioned previously that most babies who suffer from umbilical hernias can heal on their own by the age of 4 to 5 years. However, if the lump that appears is painful, blocks the intestine, or doesn't shrink until the child is more than 5 years old, the doctor will recommend surgery. Surgery may also be performed if these symptoms appear in the first 1 to 2 years of life. Meanwhile, babies with inguinal hernias can only be treated surgically. This procedure is done to avoid more serious complications such as a stuck hernia which then causes permanent tissue death. Another thing that you also need to pay attention to is avoiding massaging, massaging, or pressing the bulges that appear because these actions can worsen hernia conditions in babies. Hernias in babies that are recognized and treated earlier will be better to prevent complications that may occur. For this reason, you should pay close attention to your little one's condition every time you bathe him or change his clothes. If you find a lump in the navel area or lower abdomen, you should immediately consult a doctor.